my name is Amber and I am the Sea Turtle Assistance and Rehabilitation Manager here at the North Carolina Aquarium on Roanoke Island. It's also known as the Star Center. And in here, we actually take care of sick and debilitated turtles. We bring them in, we fix them up, and then we release them back into the wild where they are healthy and can have a second chance being in the open ocean. Technically, here in Star Center, we have two big seasons when it comes to sea turtles. From October to about the beginning or mid of March, we see what we call cold stunned sea turtles. Cold stunning is essentially a hypothermia that sea turtles exhibit signs of when they kind of stick around in our sound a little too long. As the temperatures change and they drop pretty quickly around here in the winter, what happens is we see those symptoms of upper respiratory infections. We can sometimes even see frostbite later in the year. So we fix those turtles up in the winter and get them out as quick as possible. The second time we get a lot of sea turtles is in the summer. Here in the Outer Banks, we have a lot of boat traffic, a lot of people out on the water. And the major things that we see are fishing interactions, be it hooking ingestions, we see boat strikes, we can see entanglements. And all of those things can be helped or if they're spotted out in the water, a lot of times our charter boat captains will actually let us know and bring them in for us and they can help us get them into rehab a lot sooner than waiting for them to kind of strand on the beach. And we get everything in between as well. So here in the Outer Banks, we see four types of sea turtles, but three mainly on the island that we get in for rehabilitation. So the ones that we see in rehab are the Kemp's Ridleys. They are the smallest and the most endangered sea turtle species that we see in here. And then we typically see them at a really small juvenile stage, maybe about the size of a dinner plate. Although we do have a couple outliers that are about 40 pounds, so a little bit bigger. We also see green sea turtles. Green sea turtles are kind of our dominant species when it comes to cold stun season. We see a lot of them, about six to 10 pounds is kind of our average. We also see loggerhead sea turtles. We see them not only during cold sun season, but they are our primary nesting turtles up here in the Outer Banks. Sea turtles come into Star Center via our volunteers that comb the beaches during certain times of the year or visitors to the island finding them on the beach. We partner with different organizations to bring sea turtles into us so that we can start their rehabilitation process. And that all starts with a basic intake exam just like you would go to the doctor if you were feeling sick. We take an internal body temperature so that we can better gauge how to warm them up. Sea turtles have to be warmed up gradually, especially when they have a really low body temperature. Otherwise, their body can kind of fight against them in that process. We also take a blood sample. We can analyze that blood sample so that we know what vitamins they are deficient in, how dehydrated they are, and it gives us kind of an indicator or a baseline for when they start to go through rehab to kind of compare how they're progressing through rehabilitation. We also do kind of a physical examination. We look at their eyes, nose, mouth, just to make sure that everything is nice and clear. Once they are stable, they can start to get some enrichment items. We try to give them things to interact with or things in their environment to kind of stimulate natural behaviors like foraging. So live food, offering them a crab or a jellyfish, something to kind of stimulate that natural foraging and hunting response in the sea turtles. Once they look okay behaviorally, once their blood work looks great, we talk to our veterinarians and we make a plan for release. We have the option of partnering up with quite a few different agencies. We have Park Service down here. We have Fish and Wildlife. We have the Coast Guard down in Hatteras and in Norfolk, Virginia. And they can do boat releases out to the Gulf Stream or we can do beach releases here whenever it's warm enough. So we have quite a few options in getting these guys back out. Come learn more about sea turtles here at the Star Center at the North Carolina Aquarium on Roanoke Island. Thanks for watching.